breaking news for us, I believe, regarding the Shed End project. Uh, the Shed End, something I remember, and a lot of Rangers fans with affection over the years, uh, but disappeared, didn't it, around ten years ago, am I right? 2006. Yeah. We, uh, we won promotion from the Conference North into the Conference Premier, and then um, we had to reach the ground grading, so we had to rip it down, and the best fit solution at the time was to put some temporary seating in. So we, we hired that, um, and we stayed in the conference for two seasons, and eventually when we went down, it cost too much, so we had to get rid of it. I see. So all those seats disappeared, and we returned to as you were at Marsden Road, with the exception of the shed end. Yeah. Uh, and Borough Faithful definitely wanted back, including yourself. Yes. That was the, uh, the beating heart of the club, really, where you got all of the, the sound reverberating around the ground. And um, it's sadly missed. I'm sure it is. And what's the news you've got for us today, Alan? So, after four years of, of working away, the Shed End team met with the, the Board of Directors last night. And um, they've basically agreed in principle that we can go ahead as long as we get all of our insurances, um, assurances ready by the end of the week. And ducks in a row, really. Um, paperwork, everything written down rather than just verbally agreed yeah. and then we can take it from there Question is, the money it takes money to get this done where's the money coming from? Well it's virtually all been fans money so far um, we can thank Kalina Logistics they're the one company that came forward and gave us a bit of money so they'll get a board on the stand but other than that we haven't had any local companies coming forward so it's been events, like the lads running from Stafford to Newcastle Town, um, the music night, various auctions ongoing, and then a, a benefactor coming forward and, and wanted to make a donation on certain terms that they stay um, confidential. OK. We can't reveal too much about that. I did read that story in the paper last week, Alan. Yeah. Um, can we say, if it, is it a local person? Can we say that much? A fan of many years. OK, we'll, 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 leave, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. 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 I mean, the atmosphere at Marsden Road, in my opinion, when I've been to watch the Rangers, does suffer because there's no shed in there. Uh, yeah. You used to get all the hardcore Rangers fans at that end of the ground. You used to get the choir there as well, singing and, and uh, sort of bigging up the players. The, the atmosphere's definitely suffered, hasn't it? It has, and it's the, it's the open end, a vast open end, and any sound that's created within the ground seems to just disappear really yeah yeah um in on the wind so to speak I so um we're getting this structure back and it's it's based roughly on the same footprint as the for the the recent one um but it'll be a modern design like a propped cantilever um shiny and new great and ready to build onto the sides of if you've got the money to yeah What's the overall cost then, Alan? Have you got a figure roughly how much it's costing? At the moment, we've got a ballpark figure of thir about 35 plus that, so you're looking in the region of 42 overall. Wow. It's a lot of money, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. And we've spent a lot of the money that's been raised on um, searches, uh, testing. We like to dig a lot of holes to make sure the ground is right, and we've gone above and beyond. And considering that the... Um, a lot of the, the paperwork for the club was lost over the years. We've now replaced all of that, so the club will benefit from having their own plans in place. you think, actually, wouldn't you, that it, um, it would just be a matter of rebuilding the old shed in the space of where it used to be, because it was there for, for decades, but life's not as easy as that, is it? No, and um, with the green guide and various things that we, you have to adhere to, um, we went down the route of we'll get a, a proper full version. So we were looking at a, a cantilevered stand with future proofing so it could get terraced fit in it. Um, that was beyond us, cost wise. So we're going for a, a lesser option at the moment that can be improved as we go along. Okay, so you mentioned you know the timescale earlier, Alan. I mean, the clock's ticking, you're trying to get all those ducks lined up in a row. 
um, you've got to get things done by this week. How, how soon can Rangers fans hope to be able to stand once again under the shed end at that end of the ground? Well, if is one of the biggest words in, in life, if not just football, isn't it? You know, And if we get all the insurance, assurances again, if we get everything to schedule, we're now looking at a time span of... Eight, eight or nine weeks sort of thing and we're hoping to get in by the Hensford game on the 15th of December that'd be something that, special that would be wouldn't it brilliant that would that really would be something special yeah well it's great news and I'm, I'm really chuffed that you've came into the Stafford FM this morning Alan to share that with us is there anything else you'd like to add or anybody listening to Stafford FM today who'd like to help or, or maybe lend their support how can they find out more information well we'd obviously like to thank everybody who has helped us so far um, like I said earlier, the fundraising efforts have been immense. Um, the fans, um, Kalina for coming forward. Um, and if anybody wants to still step forward with those pledges that are outstanding, um, they can come and talk to us at a match. We should know all four of us by now, really. Um, contact us through the Shed End website, which is the Shed End Project dot org or the Facebook uh, page which is SRSC Ground Development if you have any checks you'd like to make out make those payable to save Stafford Rangers um, you could also join the Booster Borough Lottery um, that would help the club overall or you could join by contacting Eric Robbins and his commission goes straight into our pot OK, great. That Facebook uh, site, again, uh, if you just mention it, I'll uh, make a note of that Facebook page, Alan. It's facebook.com, SRFC, hyphen, ground, hyphen, development. OK, and the website, sheddingproject.org. That's correct, yes. Alan G from Stafford Rangers, um, we wish you well. Fingers crossed. Uh, eight weeks we'll be standing under cover. Uh, what used to be the McBell, I remember the McBell timber yard that used to be a big right, yeah. Some people call it the McBell end, but yeah. uh, the, the borough faithful like you and I call it the shed end. Yes. Good luck, Alan. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, mate. Sunday nights on Stan